Hello everyone, welcome to my channel The Colors of Mathematics. In this channel, I am working presently working on grade 8 maths and we are doing algebraic expressions. You can go to my channel page and see other videos on algebraic expressions. In the first video on algebraic expressions, I have explained what is an algebraic expression through matchstick pattern. There I have explained parts of an algebraic expression. I have taken 3x uh, plus 1 as the algebraic expression where I have explained that 3 is the coefficient x is the variable and 1 is the constant. So today we are going to discuss about like and unlike terms. I have written three terms and now we will discuss whether these are, these are like terms or unlike terms. The terms are 7x, 14x and negative 13x. Uh, before starting, I would like to tell you that like terms are the terms which behave in a similar ma manner. That is, they grow in a similar manner. They grow in a similar manner. So, let's see how these three terms are growing with the values. We'll take some values of x and see how these terms are growing. Let's take x is equal to 1. So if x is 1, then 7 times 1, this will be 7. 14 times 1, this will be 14. Negative 13 times 1, this term will have a value thir negative 13. Let's take x as 2. Now 7 times 2, 14. 14 times 2, 28. Negative 13 times 2, negative 26. Now just observe these two values. It is getting multiplied by 2. This also is getting multiplied by 2. This also is getting multiplied by 2. So here we can see that they are behaving in a similar way. They are growing in a similar manner. Let's take another value of x say 5. Fourteen times five is seventy. Thirteen negative thirteen times five is negative sixty-five. So again, we can see if we compare with the with one this value when we have taken x as one, we can see how it is growing. It is becoming multiplied by five. So all these three terms are going in a similar way. So these are like terms. I have two more terms with me. 5x square and negative 9x square. Let's again check whether these, these are growing in a similar fashion or not. Let's take x as 1 and see how these two respond. So negative times into 1 square is negative 9. Let's take x as 2 now. So 5 is this is 20. Then negative 9 into 2 square. This is negative 36. So we can see that this is getting multiplied by 4 and this is also getting multiplied by 4. That means these two terms still now they are behaving in a similar fashion. Let's take a fractional value of x this time. Here I am not going to cancel this out because I just want to see how the terms are growing. So if you compare with the first term, it is getting multiplied with 1 by 9 and here also it is getting multiplied by 1 by 9. So these are again growing in a similar fashion. So these are like terms. Now if you observe it closely, this it depends on this variable. The 
it depends upon the value of the variable and we can see that the variable is same in both these so they have to grow in a similar fashion so now let's see the next two terms just make a guess are they going to grow in a similar fashion are they like terms or not so let's check now let's take now we have two variables here y and x let's take x as 1 and y as 1 only so see here it is getting multiplied by 2 and here also it is getting multiplied by so what do we observe these two terms are undergoing the same change in value with these two values let's take another example let's take x as 2 and y as 3 so here how much is the change it's being multiplied by 6 and here also it's being multiplied by 6 so these two terms are growing in the same fashion so they are like terms it depends on the variable part so you look at the variable part here it is x y and here in this term it is y x so if you remember the commutative property which says that 2 times 3 is same as 3 times 2 but it has been applied to in algebra where x multiplied by y is same as y multiplied by x so both the variable part in both the terms is same so that is the reason these two terms are growing in the same manner so i have two more terms 7x and 7xy so what's your gut feeling is it going are these two like terms or not so let's see if you look at the variable path, it is different. So let's just check. So now here we can see it is becoming 2 times. But this, this expression here is becoming 4 times. So they are not growing in the same fashion. It largely depends on the variable part attached to the terms. Let's take another example. not growing in the same fashion because their variable parts are different so it is making them grow in a different way so now let's just look at the other two terms 7x and 7x square yes you are right your gut uh, guess is right that these are also not like terms because you have seen the variable part it's different so they are going to be unlike terms let's see once only how they are growing so they are not growing in a similar way because their variable part is different now i have brought a challenge for you just look at these questions you can pause the video and think about the like terms now i'm going to tell you which ones are the like terms And this doesn't have any pair. It is not like with any other term. So, if you think my video is of some value, so do like, click on the like button and the subscribe button. And thanks for watching my video.